Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Got a great story out of Business Insider and it is about unemployment. It is about the fact the Federal Reserve has said, hey, we're not gonna have a recession. They do not see a recession. I'm going to tell you right now, I believe 100%, not only are we gonna see a technical recession because the government changed the definition, but we are already in a recession. It is crazy. Everywhere I go, I see empty storefronts. I see fewer shoppers. We have two main drivers that are going to take down this real estate market. That is continued inflation. And right now that continued inflation is people that are seeing rising prices. So they're running down to the store and they're stocking up, right? Just add a little bit more strain on the food supply. But also we're going to keep seeing the Federal Reserve raise rates, not only to tame inflation, but to give countries, uh, other central banks, a reason to hold our dollars, right? As the world's walking away from it, that is one main driver. So inflation is one. The other driver for this housing market crash is unemployment. Everywhere I go, I am seeing fewer and fewer people working. I don't care what the government statistics are. Let me know down in the comments what you're seeing, but I truly believe that we are seeing fewer people working. Um, here we go. This story, it's entitled, Americans are about to start losing their jobs and that the spoil the Fed's dream, no recession scenario comes from Vanguard top economist. Here we go. Some points to go over. The Federal Reserve said last week that it no longer expects to see a U.S. recession. But Vanguard's top economist, Joe Davis, said unemployment will spike above 4% over the next year. I completely and utterly agree with him. And by that metric, it's actually a recession because you have very job uh, modest job losses. So it says here, Americans will start losing their jobs soon, and that will probably stop the Federal Reserve from achieving its dream no recession scenario comes from Vanguard's top economist, Joe Davis. Most banks expect unemployment to spike above 4% in the next 12 months as the central bank's aggressive interest rate uh, hikes filter into the labor market. Let me stop there and say that every time borrowing gets more expensive for a company, they have to figure out where to lay people off. There were a lot of companies that actually had a hard time uh, hiring people during the pandemic, and then they overhired and they're starting to let people go. That, not only that, you couple that with AI and all of these companies that haven't laid off yet, but they are diving into artificial intelligence and figuring out how they can implement it in their day-to-day -day operations, and then figuring out, and I know a lot of CEO, CFOs that are looking into this, they're going, okay, how can we save money? Where can we trim the fat? And the fat is always employment, the most expensive item on, line item on a balance sheet most of the time. It says here, most banks expect the unemployment to spike above 4%. In the next 12 months, as the central bank's aggressive rate hikes filter the labor market. Sorry, I already read that. Davis told Bloomberg's What Goes Up podcast that while those job losses are set to suppress wage growth and help inflation fall to the Fed's target level of 2%, they could also scupper, uh, scupper sorry, its hopes for a so-called soft landing. You know, and that's the other thing too. How often have we ever seen a soft landing, quote unquote, uh, when, when the Fed is tweaking and messing with these numbers. When soaring price is cool, but there's no recession in the U.S., it's going to take some labor market weakness to go that last yard, as many call it. From the 3% trend inflation down to 2%, the asset manager's chief global economist and head of investment strategy said. Now, it's interesting. Let me also explain something that just really ticks me off is that uh, they talk about this 3% inflation rate minus food and energy. Like those are the two most important parts. It's like they are literally just, hey, we didn't see anything. Nope, we're not looking at those numbers. We're looking at these numbers over here. We're looking at housing costs, you know. Um, we're looking at cars. We're looking at all this stuff. Well, no, don't talk about food and energy. Those are the two most important things. And when we're seeing other countries like India go up, no exports on rice. It is going to cause food to go up even more. It says almost everyone has a rise in the unemployment rate of at least 30 to 40 basis points. So going above 4% over the next year, Davis added, well, historically, that has been 100% associated with a recession in the past. Now, not necessarily deep in magnitude, but a recession. Davis's comments come after the Fed itself said it's no longer expecting there'll be a recession in the U.S. this year. Now, 
let me explain that too. See, the Fed can make it really easy because think about this. This is what's scary. They said this year. There's only two quarters left of this year, right? Um, they've they've just seen uh, quarter two numbers. So technically, they can announce a recession after the quarter four numbers if we have uh, the, to their metrics, their new metrics, slumping GDP uh, in quarter three, slumping GDP in quarter four. Then uh, they announce it in January. Go, oh yeah, we nailed it. So I want people to really understand the Fed speak is is set up in a way, and it's wordsmithing in a way that it, it builds some euphoria and some excitement. Okay, but the truth is we are going to slam into a crash. Uh, systematically, they're on record saying no in recession, David told Bloomberg, but by that metric, it's actually recession because you'll have very modest job losses. Central bank has raised interest rates from near zero to 5% since March of 2022 in a bid to tame soaring prices, but pledged to take data-dependent approach to tightening last week. Inflation has since fallen from four-decade highs to just 3%. I'm straight up saying that's a straight up lie. They are taking away the most important metrics. While job numbers in the US GDP have kept ticking up despite borrowing costs rapidly rising. You know, it's interesting too, GDP is based on inflation. As inflation rises, GDP looks good. I think that we are coming into some very hard times and I would not be racing out into the real estate market just yet. I am seeing prices come down. I am seeing asking prices drop. And I think that is very, very telling of this market and very indicative of the beginning of a real estate downturn. Hope you got something out of this. Thank you so much for watching The Real Estate Ninja is out.